that ideas have not left their source. That's what joining is. Yeah. We're getting happy lately. Yes. It's not yes. interesting. Yes. Happy. Yes. Yeah, we've done we've done a lot of work. Yeah. We have faced a lot of our own demons, which we created. Yeah. It seems like it's like what you say that there's a remembering and a forgetting and it, it when you really come into the present that you really do forget the past. I mean, yeah. it's not like, it's like that there was work necessary to reach this point. And that's a common phrase I hear a lot of times is, I did, the work. I did the work, I've done all the work, and, and everything that I've done has brought me to this point. And the Holy Spirit says to me, no, I brought you to this <laughs> point. The past, <laughs> the ego, never will bring you to the present. Yeah. The Holy Spirit uses the symbols of the past for help to help us release the past and, and I always think that's important because that the Holy Spirit brings us to where we are and and even that the illusion of the journey starts to just fade and there's so much joy that that there's not this sense of like having a resume of how you got back to heaven you know that that doesn't come with it that's comforting the Holy Spirit brings you to where you are yes it's like that given pool of love it's there yes it just is yes and it's waiting at all times. There are no stages of having to do the work. It's just been there all along. Yes. It's like it, someone asked me one time, is, is forgiveness a process or an instant? And I said, it's a process until it's an instant. But I would like to say right now that it is an instant. It is an instant. And, and what that instant is, I think, is, is what we're going to look very closely at. Because while it seems to be a process, there still seems to be frustrations, there still seems to be vacillations, there still seems to be the need for vigilance. Yeah. But vigilance implies the need that you need to be vigilant against something. That doesn't exist. That doesn't exist. Yeah. And that's where the joy, the, the real joy comes in of heaven, of just seeing that, that I am as God created me, and that perfect love is all that there is. You know, the Course tells us that the opposite of love is fear, but what is all-encompassing can have no opposite. And that, that's what heals. You know, yeah. That's what all the saints and the mystics have, have come to, is just this absolute certainty that, that love is all that there is. Yeah. So forgiveness is not first seeing the error of separation yeah, and forgiving it. in yourself or in a brother, and then trying to go through steps. Some people tell me there's three steps to forgiveness, yeah. some say there's two, but forgiveness is a state of mind in which you see that there is no error. There's no error. Yes. Yeah. And that means that, that you let go of whatever you think has occurred. I mean, we're back to the idea, a linear process still implies linear time. And the Course is teaching us that time is first of all, simultaneous. It's just a, the miracles collapse ta time down and show yeah. us that it's all happening simultaneously, yeah. which is the step to opening to there is no time, that, that the eternal present, that the eternity of God and the kingdom of heaven is all that there is. So as long as we're using concepts like linear time, process, you know, that's journey, that's, journey, that's uh, like a script or that's the story. Yeah. And what we're really starting to realize is it's it's possible to drop the story entirely. Yeah, that needs to be that needs to be honored because yes. that's the instant. Yes, that's the instant healing. Yes, that's the holy instant. Yeah, that's very yeah. important. I mean, yeah. the story. It's like parables are very important in the sense that when the mind gets so conditioned into specifics, that's all it can think in. It can only think in linearity yeah. when it believes in concretes and specifics and persons and places and things. Yeah. And when we talk about healing, it's, it's a lot of times assumed that people heal mm. or that bodies heal. Yeah. And I mean, even or, or even that bodies live and bodies die. But if we want to really get at this, what we have to first start to see is, is that the, the mind is the one thing that's in need of healing. Yeah. And the body is something that really can't be endowed with the attributes of the Holy Spirit or the ego because it's just neutral. Right. You know, I use the example of like a, a pen or a pencil, you know, of saying, your pencil looks very well today, good, <laughs> good tone, or, you know, it looks very pale and sick. You know, it would be ridiculous to talk about a pencil 
as, as looking well or sick or, or ill. And, and it's just as ridiculous to talk about the body that way because it is just, it is completely neutral and that's how the Holy Spirit sees it. But we know from experience that the mind can seem to be upset or it can seem to be healed and whole. And really what we're coming to see is that the wholeness is what is true and real. Yeah. And illness, irritation, annoyance, whether it's psychological or it seems to be physical is of, you know, no matter, it's just impossible. Yeah. And we make that up mm -hmm. if we choose. Yeah. I mean, that, that's not being, that's not being an I am. That's mm -hmm. not being, recognizing the source. Yes. And when we say, even when we say we make it up or we authored the dream, we, want, we need to come back on that too. The ego made up the body, the ego made up the world, mm. the ego made up the dream. And so we pull back to the I am and then, and then free. And then there's no opposite. Yes, there's no there opposite. There is no opposite. And love. And we do play a lot with yeah, that. Yes, that's it. And the we part, it's, it's starting in the end to, to let go as you go into meditation and to let go of the we's. Yeah. Because that's a common thing and it really, when we talk about we've done this or we've done that, it's just describing the problem. Or another way of saying it is declaring that I'm an ego. And so when we come into the I yeah. am presence, you know, and the joy is there, we open the mind to the stillness, the be still and know that I am God. And that is just that's, total Doesn't clarity. get any better. Oh, that's, that's, that's everything. That's it. Yes. There's a vote for being still yes. and finding time and going within and yes. 